so eager to meet me? Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. Oh, so she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. Oh! Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> Okay. Well, that worked. Yay! Sabotage! Let's see. Now I need to put these things on here. Let's see. Uh... Did the game freeze? Fuck, uh, unfreeze. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lincoln, as a candidate for office, my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues. Followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging. Hmm, I see. Well, this is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. So I just assumed I'd be running unopposed. Oh no, you didn't! You ain't all that! Max! I freed the slave! I was star of a popular television sitcom! I'm on the penny! Oh, I was on penny. TV! I was on now, TV! gentlemen, we can resolve this like adults <laughs> through moderate Why do you say reason penny? Honey, you're on the $5 well. bill, too! In the spirit of democracy, I say, bring it. And it's a beautiful day on the White House lawn as we bring you the first in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. President. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue of Abraham Lincoln. And yep. representing the random violence and destruction <laughs> party, there is the hyperkinetic, rabbit-like creature known as Max. Acting as completely impartial moderator for the debates will be Stan. The candidates are ready, so let's listen in. <laughs> Contestants, it's time for our lightning round. Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. I'd like you to sum up your stand on those issues in a few concise words. Well, all right. I'm afraid this will have to be completely off the top of my head. There's nothing prepared. Where do you stand on religion and schools? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my Whoops. country. I think I did the wrong Lincoln thing. Lincoln pulls out his trusted catchphrase for Whoops. this election, which delights the crowd, but seems to have no effect on the polls. Um, I think I screwed something up. Was I? I think I did. Fuck. That's enough for now. Keep them coming. I'm ready for anything. Time out. Max has to, uh, visit the little candidate's room. I'm drunk with power, but it just goes right through me. Okay. Um, shit. Two wrongs don't make a right. I'm confused. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, hell. What? Damn it. Sam! Turn around. Give me all you got. Alright. Free home delivery. Okay. Okay, I need to put those up there. It's time for another in this ongoing series of debates between Abraham Lincoln and Max. We turn you over to our impartial moderator, Sam. Okay.
Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. Okay, so I did the religion and schools thing, so... How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Free home delivery. Ooh, an effective but very controversial proposal from candidate Lincoln. And the crowd did not like that idea one bit. Let's see how it affected the polls. Okay. Hey, Nader's getting popular! Give me all you got. Okay, so I'm clearly going to have to do that. I did the wrong thing, so. How would you describe your tax plan? Give me all you got. And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. That had to have hurt him in the polls. All right. Hey, Nader's catching up. Yay for him. <laughs> I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Two wrongs don't make a right. All right. Let's try this one more go round. Max, what are you trying to talk about? Oh, Lord. All right, let's let Max have a little fun. Greetings, miserable prole. <laughs> People of Earth, your day of reckoning is at hand. This election reminds me of a droll story. It seems Chester A. Arthur and the Pope were kayaking Max? down the Amazon one day. Suddenly, a tiny kandiru fish swims up the Pope's <laughs> and lodges itself in his Arthur <laughs> grabs the Pope's Flyers and swelled up like a melon. And the Pope says, Thanks! Last time that happened, McKinley wanted to. No, wait, wait, wait. I think I told it wrong. Max! Dear Christ! I believe in the ideal of a global community where America is but a small part. We must set aside our differences and work with our fellow nations, all Max, united towards one goal. Complete and utter annihilation of the godless Belgians. Max! <laughs> I want to see a return to the prosperity of the America we once knew. A chicken in every pot, and vice versa. If elected, I promise a return to a happier time in America's past. The days when giant thunder lizards marched over the fern-covered marshes of the Midwest, <laughs> preying on the upstart mammals. <laughs> Okay, so we went all through that. Jesus Christ. I'm a uniter, not a divider. I foresee an America under one rule. An iron-fisted rule. One rabbit, one law. Let your neighbors know that dissent will not be tolerated. Max. All hail Max. <laughs> Max! I have a dream, America. <laughs> it starts out where I'm in an all-nude production of Death of a Salesman on Ice. But I haven't studied, and I can't remember my lines. Suddenly, it begins to rain marshmallows, but that's okay, because trees are made of graham crackers, and chocolate bars are the official currency. I believe that by working together, we can make that dream a reality. Oh my god! Max! <laughs> we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. And the chupacabra, madre de dios, he'll kill us all! <laughs> Max, he probably just wants to eat you. <laughs> Max! Hairball! Oh my god. Okay, let's do we got enough of that. Where do you stand on religion and schools? Two wrongs don't make a right. Did we hear that right? Lincoln just came down against both religion and education. Wow, that's gotta hurt him in the polls. There we go. Hey, 
Yay! Nader almost got caught up in that! The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected President of the United States. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Let's cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. You've got to be <laughs> You idiot! He took the news much better than expected. Democracy? I will make you all my hypnotic slaves! <laughs> Robotic Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop him. Who cares? I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into a prison. <laughs> Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. And there's yes. our <laughs> title drop. <laughs> okay. And unfortunately, we can't just go shooting him. So what the heck do I have to do now? <sighs> I have no freaking clue. Um, Max, Max, get your body over here. I want to talk to you. Uh, that lagomorph. Come back here. There you are. Come, come, come here. What do we do now? Well, I just took office, and a giant robotic Abraham Lincoln is rampaging through the streets of Washington, enslaving the populace with his hypnotic laser eyes. The answer's clear. We have to find a way to spin this. Spin this. Okay, let's go. Huh, hell. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Hmm, was there something special about 1984? <laughs> I'm sure there was. Let's see. I have no idea. What the hell did I do now? I can't obviously get that liquor from... Can I? I don't even know. Let's see, what do I need to do? Uh, let's go see if we can snap them Secret Service agents out of it. And maybe knock Max into the stratosphere a little. Come on. Oh. No comment. And of course they've vanished. What are they following along like mind slaves? Now it makes me want my own little name Rod. All right, let's see. Um, all right, let's head to the White House. Maybe they got some answers there. Finally, Mr. President, you're here. That's the president? People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Ch Former child Look, star Max, fight. All the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. Uh. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. Yay. Hey! The national budget! Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Huh. Let's take a look at this calendar. It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skippiest, naughtiest. Uh, Even better, Max, you can actually change the official date. Oh boy! 
Earth Day, Arbor Day, Secretary's Day. I have a sneaking suspicion of what I'm gonna need there. Oh, hello! The star hmm, pillows, right? Pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stars are shaped more like throw pillows. Hey! Super Bowl! What are you doing here, buddy? Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Uh... Max says you can take a vacation. We will make an exception just this once. Thank you, sir, but no can do. I can only take a vacation on federal holidays. We'll be back. Roger okay. that. Well, that sucks. I got an idea. I think I know how I do that. <sighs> okay, so there's where I need the money. That's the globe. I'm not really thirsty. No. I actually don't want a globe that dispenses drinks. That, that, stop it. <sighs> okay, I think I remember something I had to do. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Hmm. Let's see. You know... Wait. Whee! I should really go check on Sybil. Oh, Lord. I feel really bad for her. I really... I feel horrible for her. Hi, Sybil. How you feeling, girl? Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah. Now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. Max! There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start and a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carbon dating equipment online. And I couldn't afford to change my sign. Hmm? You're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. Uh-huh. How, how does this work? How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's... It's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places! I might even get a grant! I'd be rich! Uh... Sure. Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Plenty of people! Freelance archaeologists, mm -hmm. independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. It's also naughty fun for the next bachelorette party. And now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. 
now everybody is convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. Uh, I'm pretty sure that doesn't specifically work that way. Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Uh, I think I can, I can help See you. See you around, Sybil. Max, let's go waste the national fund, shall we? <laughs> All right. Whee! And I know we're going to have to eventually do something about Bosco. Where are we going, Sam? And uh, let's not We're chase off that to the White House. Oh boy! I really want a DeSoto now, that, or at least this DeSoto. All right, Mr. President, let's go allocate some funds where they should do not need to be, shall we? There are the soda poppers. I could talk to them. But I know I need to do something about. Let's get rid of the Secret Service dude so he's not watching. Max, I mean, His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, oh. we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Super Bowl. Oh God, which one do I pick? Uh... Yeah, let's just go with this. Let's go with this. Secretary of the Interior. We already have one of those. Oh, exterior? We have one of those, too. Fine, Secretary of the Posterior. <laughs> <laughs> so we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Noted. So... Alright, we got to... Will you hush your foolishness? Okay. So, since he's a secretary... Oh boy! Let's just, uh, slide that down. We now declare today, April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, leading heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary's Day. All right. Hey, Soups. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. <laughs> the forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. <sighs> well, now we have access to the war room. Yay! Now, hey, look, let's Max. take care of the it's important the presidential stuff. discretionary budget. You have one hundred million dollars. However you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Uh. All right. We'll just allocate that off to Sybil. Now we head off. Take a look at that. Uh, I really do want this eagle. I love this country. Uh, I hope to God that whatever that noise is doesn't catch onto my thing, onto my recording. Excuse me one second, please. All right, sorry about that. All right, so let's go get that carbon dater. Where are we going, Sam? 
from Swap. Back to the office. Shotgun! Man, I swear, just trying to get that truth storm, which is probably no more than some glorified booze. Very glorified. Might actually be some vodka. <laughs> Uh, this is literally like Lord of the Rings of them just trying to get a hold of some freaking alcohol. What the hell? <laughs> oh hmm, boy. Sybil left the door unlocked. Hmm. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, then sold into a white slavery ring. Max! Forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot before narrowly escaping his volcano top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Max! Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. Hey, after what you guys did to her, I think she basically deserves to be allowed to do whatever. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Just take the stupid thing. All right, so intercom. That's not even worth a comment. Uh, all right. Let's head on out of here. Excuse me again. Okay. I'm gonna guess I need that carbon dater for the weenies at Bosco's. So what, do I just have to register random places as, like, historical? Alright. Into the convenience shop. Into the inconvenience. You know, I would have thought one of those would have been changed to something relating to Max, but okay. Bosco, why hey, do you Bosco. think Max will kill you? Uh, When's the last time you cleaned out the weaning routine? This needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty tray. I really do love Bosco's voice actor. Asvidanya, comrade Boskovorsky. We'll catch you on flip side, comrade dog and rabbit. How does Bosco keep putting up with you two? <laughs> Let's see, carbon date. What is that? Keep that away from me. Relax, Bosco. It only tells how old you are. Why do you need to know that? Did <laughs> someone send you to find out how old I am? Sheesh, never mind. That's your problem with dating, Sam. You give up too easily. I don't want to know how old that is. <laughs> I don't want to know how old that is. I don't want to know how old that is. I don't want to know how old that is. I don't want to know how old that is. Huh. Hey, sir! Max, have you been dieting? Crud! Huh. Max, have you been dieting? Hmm. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Da! Special bargain for you! Still tasty, half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable ah, artifacts. Ah, really? I mean, uh, of course! In preserving heritage of my people. Ah, Just hey, how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. Uh. This coffee is over a month old. It's slow roasted for premium taste and maximum viscosity. I don't want to know how old that is. Ugh. I don't want to know how old that oh, is. Oh, come on. The nachos are from the early 90s, but I can't get a reading on the cheese. I don't think it's organic, Sam. Well, obviously. I don't want to know how old that is. I don't want to know how old that is. No. Okay. So, we're probably going to 
just piss off Sybil by accident again, but sure. 